Ever pondered about the different types of literature? Let's embark on a journey of discovery today. First on the list is literature, a term that refers to written works, especially those considered of superior or lasting artistic merit. For instance, War and Peace is a piece of literature that has stood the test of time. Next up is poetry, a form of literature that uses aesthetic and rhythmic qualities of language to evoke meanings in addition to, or in place of, the prosaic ostensible meaning. An example is The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, a haunting piece of poetry. A narrative poem is a form of poetry that tells a story, often using the voices of both a narrator and characters. The entire story is usually written in metered verse. The Charge of the Light Brigade by Alfred Lord Tennyson is a well-known narrative poem. A lyric poem is a type of emotional song-like poetry distinguished from dramatic and narrative poetry. Because I Could Not Stop for Death by Emily Dickinson is a prime example of a lyric poem. A dramatic poem is any dramatic work written in lines of verse that is meant to be recited. Robert Browning's My Last Duchess is a dramatic poem that uses the voice of a duke to convey a dark tale. An epic is a long narrative poem that is usually about heroic deeds and events that are significant to the culture of the poet. The Odyssey by Homer is an epic that follows the hero Odysseus on his journey home from the Trojan War. A poet is a person who writes poems. For instance, William Wordsworth, known for his love of nature, was a renowned English poet. A chronicle is a factual written account of historical events in the order of their occurrence. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle is a historical record of events in England, chronicling the country's history from the earliest times to around 1154. Verse is a single line of poetry or a specific subdivision of a poem, like a stanza or a line. An example would be, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, which is a famous verse from Shakespeare's Sonnet 18. Prose refers to written or spoken language in its ordinary form, without metrical structure. An example is, To Kill a Mockingbird, by Harper Lee, a novel written in prose. Uh, a nursery rhyme is a traditional poem or song for children in Britain and many other countries. Jack and Jill Went Up the Hill is a well-known nursery rhyme. A monologue is a long speech by one actor in a play or movie, or as part of a theatrical or broadcast program. Hamlet's To Be or Not To Be is one of the most famous monologues in English literature. Dialogue is a conversation between two or more people as a feature of a book, play, or film. An example is the dialogue between Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice. A tale is a story, especially one that might be invented or untrue. The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter is a classic tale enjoyed by children. A myth is a traditional story, especially one concerning the early history of a people or explaining some natural or social phenomenon and typically involving supernatural beings or events. Greek mythology, such as the myth of Pandora's box, is full of intriguing stories. A legend is a traditional story, sometimes popularly regarded as historical but unauthenticated. King Arthur is a famous legend known worldwide. Lastly, a fable is a short story, typically with animals as characters conveying a moral. The tortoise and the hare is a well-known fable teaching the value of perseverance and caution. To summarize, we've explored the world of literature delving into poetry, narrative and lyric poems, dramatic poems, epics, the role of a poet, chronicles, verses, prose, nursery rhymes, monologues, dialogues, tales, myths, legends, and fables. Each of these elements adds color and depth to the rich tapestry of written works that we collectively term literature. So, the next time you pick up a book or a poem, remember the vast array of styles and types of literature that exist in the world.